Hello, thank you for joining me. So it's just a UPS guy, no big deal. But anyways, uh, we left our last film in the middle of uh, doing this uh, fillet. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that fillet. So yeah. So if you look at the, uh, the M pad, what it does, if I put a 20 millimeter fillet on that block that we had there before, it's going to uh, you know fill it all the way around. It's going to be the same radius as you would consider the radius of the cylinder over here. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. If I go to fill it, it's going to be uh, 20 millimeters, which is half of the, the diameter of the 40 millimeter cylinder over here. And if I make sure that I have a tangent propagation selected here, all I have to do is click on this edge here. Bang, it goes all the way around. Select on this edge, and that goes all the way around. If I go to green check mark, that's what it comes out to. So yours doesn't have to look as elaborate as this. Whatever you want to do, However you want to do, you're not going to be just enough. I do want to make sure that you have something on here with a hole in it. It should be bossed out just a little bit, just to, you know, if you're going to put a hole in there, you're going to weaken the material, so you want to make sure you put an adequate amount of material around it so that hole doesn't stretch out and uh, fail on you sometime in the future. So I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to get an error with that second uh, fillet. So since this one isn't labeled, I'm going to go ahead and delete the one I just did. And that should be good to go. All right, so what does this look like when we put into this into our assembly? Let's take a look at that. Go up to Window. Let's pick the one that we want, which is going to be U-Block 1 Clamp. SolidWorks Assembly. There we go. So there's a U-Block uh, Assembly. Don't forget to put, put the pins in there, because those are uh, part of the assignment, too. So make sure you put the pins in there. And, uh, yeah, there's our, there's our assembly. Twist that. We can move it. No matter that we see fit. But one thing you want to keep in mind about uh, your assembly here is you want to make this, I'm not going to show you how to do it because you should know how to do that by now, but figure out what the hole size is for this and put a hole inside of the uh, inside of your U-block. If you do one, you're going to do the other one too. So it's going to appear over here on that one. It's going to appear here on this one. But make sure that that hole is the same hole uh, using a hole wizard feature, just a, just a regular hole that goes through that. Make sure it's the same size so that it fits, and in the same location, so that it fits uh, the whole wizard feature that we have in our pressure rod. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you. Good luck with that, and we will see you next week.